Hey everybody, it's Rolls the Gamer. Welcome back to episode 16 of the Sonic Adventure playthrough. And I apologize for my absence. Man, I, uh, yeah, I, I, in the last video I tr said I was trying to, well, working and going to school and everything, trying to be able to keep up with a good, like, release schedule, but that just fell by the wayside. Any free time that I was given, I basically wanted to keep to myself to have his free time, you know. But, uh, we're back here with, um, uh, Gamma's playthrough. And that's a death. It's, you know, it's a good... His stages, Gamma stages here are really the break that we needed from the, uh, Sonic... Tails and Knuckles like kind of playthroughs. Well, Knuckles I guess is a break too, but from the Sonic and Tails approach of like gotta go fast and complete the stage, you know, like this could have been the alternative. They didn't need to make Big the Cat, but I am now officially a graduate of Shippensburg University, so free time has opened up again, and we are going to use it to do stuff like this. It's better than, I don't know, just laying in bed anyway. A little laggy on the video. Sometimes I feel like my recording is off because uh, video lags while recording audio. Which didn't happen when I wasn't using the Windows Movie Maker recording device. You know, so it's like... Want to have a trade-off of maybe not syncing things up right, or a trade-off of just lag. It's not good either way, you know? But here's this boss fight. All the fights are the same, really. It's like... It is what it is. Uh... There, see, no big deal. Bit of a giant explosion, though, but I mean, Jesus. Can't be good for the environment. I do believe this is the end of the Gamma playthrough, too, so we'll get to see his whole story in this episode as well. He's a decent character. I mean, for what, it was, for what he's worth, anyway. Look at those graphics. They're almost believable. <laughs> I guess I can uh, spill the beans a little bit on this, but um, next game I'm doing on this channel, I am super excited for. I've already got a good number of parts recorded, and uh, it's it's fun. It's gonna be another long playthrough, like Majora's Mask style. It's gonna be even longer than that, though, probably. I think this was the, um, third longest one I've done. Maybe, I'm not sure. Definitely beats the hell out of the, uh, like the early ones I did. Like Mega Man X and stuff. Well, I, I, I still like that play, that, especially that playthrough, but it's like, eight parts or nine parts versus like two for the first Mortal Kombat game versus you know I think it, as you do more you start to improve a little bit and you can do longer sessions and I feel like with Majora's Mask and I'm so happy with some a lot of those episodes but it's like that's where I kinda 
help helped out uh, the channel and myself by kind of passing the mic between me and Lennon Free. So it was like, we're going to work on it at the same time. You know what I mean? It made it better. I'm sure I've said that point before, though, so we're not going to uh, be belabored on it. I guess now that I've got the graduation done, the thing to look for is maybe a slightly higher paying job. I don't know, since uh, I checked in last time with the last video, I've gotten a raise there, a $2 raise. So it's like, makes me kind of want to stick around, but not, not work the night shift, you know? I miss doing shit with people, for real. It's like... Let someone whose opportunities have fled them work the night shift. I've still got a lot of living to do. A lot of women to screw. Instead of that because it was rhyming. I don't know. Expert timing. And another boss fight. The thing I like about Omega stages is you can get through them really quickly if you know what you're doing. And it's easy to know what you're doing, because it's pretty straightforward, too. <coughs> Excuse me. Another robo down. So when he went, like, insurgent against Robotnik, do you think he knew that there was a bird inside of him? Or inside of all the robots, I guess would be a better way to say it. Like, was he on a quest to free the birds? Or was he... I think it was, because he said something about, like, rescue friends or something, right? In the uh, last episode with the big... Boop, 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 boop. System meltdown, error, error, you know, type moment. Aboard the egg carrier. Thanks for that prompt game. I know right where you want me to go. Take a break for the music. Wow. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. No, just keep on going, I guess. But, um, so I have my screen at a weird angle. I can barely see what's going on. Let me fix that. It's because when I sit in bed, and my room is, it has a desk, but it's like, it's full of stuff as it is. Like my old 360 that I want to like kind of gut and look, look at and stuff are there. So it's like, I just have everything set on my bed, and I sit with my legs crossed, and set my computer like on my legs here, and sometimes it'll slide around or something, but... Nothing but a setup of champions. If it were something live action related, I'd take a bit more time with it, you know. But since you're just you just need my my voice for this, I can kind of get away with being bummy with a setup. I was thinking about incorporating more live action in any way though, so you never know. Anyway, the egg carrier. Your friends are in the hot shelter. <sighs> they sure are. So to rescue your friend, you have to destroy him. Funny how that works. I really should go to a chow garden with all these animals. Eh, fuck it. It's locked off now, you know. Some people really love that stuff, and I'm not one of them. I guess they came out 
the same time as like hold on now let me go into my memory banks here this came out around the same time as the whole um like Tamagotchi phenomena if I am not mistaken it definitely didn't come out before it that's I'm absolutely sure about that but yeah Uh, pardon the background noise if you hear any. I need to get my own fucking house. I kind of don't have an excuse anymore as to why to live at home, you know, at home with the folks, you know what I mean? It's like, alright, I graduated school now, it's... I have about three months, I think, of time to wait to do stuff. Like to save up and uh, kind of get my affairs in order, I suppose. Uh. <laughs> Everyone talking about you move out and you live in, and here's a phrase I fucking hate: the real world. Um, that argument might uh have some sense to it. If I need to stop falling here, might have some sense to it. If like. I didn't already pay all my own bills and get my own groceries and stuff and have a full-time job and do all this work and shit. Really, the only thing I'm missing is, oh, what? You pay a few more bills. Uh, I, I know how to file my taxes. You pay a few more bills and... That's it. That's it. Like, there's no... I don't know. Maybe it's just a bunch of jackasses who say they're unprepared for it or don't understand the concept of paying bills on time. Those are like fucking adult, adult adults who don't understand the paying cons. 45 year olds don't understand the concept of paying a fucking bill on time for some reason. I'm not sure why. Pay everything off. Then you have your money. I don't know. This, this, this week in rage segment there, you know. Anyway, it's a train. And this train is dicks. I think. Thank you. Good God. It's all I have to get back, don't it? This is like the only stage where your timer actually could be in danger, you know? I'm not kind of, I'm kind of not happy with a minute and ten seconds left. Because this shit here just elongates stage length in and of itself. It's pretty unnecessary. But here we are so success I think I mean I think that throughout this particular playthrough I'm successful in uh, well there's a death but that I'm successful in beating the clock as it were so you'll notice I'm actually stopping to destroy everything just so I can kinda of be sure I have enough time it's like by the time you rack up all those hits though any time bonus you would have had is kinda of gone at least that's what it feels like anyway Anyway, here's this guy. See, he has dream casts in his um, torso there. I guess that was a little in joke from the creator. Whew. 
I missed the Sega Dreamcast. It had a good title on it. A good library of games, anyway. But, what are you going to do? Because he's destroyed. Oh, uh, man. It's not like the, uh... Playthrough drags or anything. I said that with Big's playthrough, too. But it's like, still, come on. Let's pick it up a little bit, guys. There's only so much I can talk about to fill a 20 minute video. Nah, that's cool. Uh, maybe I should have put a few of these into two parts, but. You know, it's. Do we want to do that, or do we just want to do it and have it out of the way? That's kind of my philosophy on some of it. And there's only one bad guy left. Gamma. Gamma. So he's starting to realize there the futility that he him has to destroy himself in the end. Very death seeker, you know. I always like that. And cutscene. Well, not really a cutscene. That's his little upgrade he was doing, getting done. And he's kind of a dick. But it's like every single boss, and not every single boss, but if you don't know where to hit them, go for the back, you know? I don't like he's throwing, I think he's throwing a little bit too much artillery at sometimes, but. Like up here, I don't like this a bit. I guess it would be what happens if you fight with a superior model of, of like robot or something though, wouldn't it? Like, can you stay alive? Yes, the answer is yes. Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> you notice I'm not afraid to take a hit just to get in a cheap shot of my own, because there's enough rings there if you sparse out uh, collecting them the right way that you can basically survive their hit, do like a hit for hit exchange type of thing. Bosses in this game aren't hard really. Except for a few. But, well, I'm talking about the end boss, but it, it should be challenging, right? Anyway. Is that necessary? He was gonna blow himself up anyway, Beta. You don't need to be a dick about it. Now he's all like... I don't know, Slumpy? Slumpy the robot? Whatever. Can't all be winners. Someone has to be the loser. And that just happens to be you. I'm 
see, he's like realizing the nature of himself now and who I truly am, you know, what I do kind of thing. And then that would have been Gamma's playthrough. See, that's good. It's a self-contained little chapter of the story of Sonic Adventure. And in the end, he doesn't give Sonic a Chaos Emerald. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty obvious. He stays dead. That's good. I like that. I like when dead people stay dead. Shadow the Hedgehog. Anyway, that's it for this episode. We'll see you next time. Until then, this is Rolls Gamer telling you, just take it easy.